$200 worth of Timu goodies. I'm putting this viral shopping app to the test to see if it is really worth all the hype. This app is currently trending number one on the United States app charts. I have come to deliver the tea. Scalding hot. Ooh. We're gonna unbox this gigantic bag of Timu goodies. I also have a giveaway. <laughs> I will be giving away two mystery items from this haul to one very lucky winner. I will be sharing all of the details of the giveaway, including the mystery prize and how to enter at the end of the video. I'll also be inserting a mystery passcode into this video that you will need to register for the giveaway. So if you are interested in seeing what Timu is all about and also entering into the giveaway to win a super fun prize then be sure to watch the video all the way through until the end we've got a bag the size of my torso she's thick she's plump on top of that I also have another little tiny package they did send me two items in this tiny little mailer not quite sure why they didn't just shove it into this big bag I have never bought from this app before truthfully excited to see what all the hype is about I don't even know like where to start I don't want to cut anything that I bought. They really just Tetris to this thing. I'm scared. A Charizard's gonna jump out at me or something. I can't see I'm blind. Oh, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Still not quite sure where, but we are getting somewhere. I'm gonna need to take some vitamins to get into this thing. I legit can't get into this thing. Holy crap. I feel like I'm trying to infiltrate a fortress. What the heck did I buy? Guys, everything is taped. I, I just, I don't, I'm not, I don't know what to do. What did I buy? First things first, I'm the realist. Get out of here, Iggy Azalea, it's not your time. Pulling out something, oh yes! I got a little bit of everything. I got some plushies, some stationery, bags, accessories, makeup, cosmetics, everything. We're really going to get an idea of what Timu is about. Cute little pencil box. Would you look at how cute? This packaging is adorable. Horrible. These are the little characters that you could choose from. It's a little case to hold your pencils in. And I got purple because it's my favorite color. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's a little clear window that opens up so that you can pull out your pens. Open, close it up, and there's some little eyes on it. This is where its toe beans would be. Oh my god, there's a little freaking paw there with some toe beans. Is that how you open it? <gasps> that's the handle. Oh my gosh. I'm thoroughly happy with that product. I legitimately do not even remember what I bought. Some type of squished little cardboard box. A mystery box. Fun. We have some pieces. Oh wow. Okay, so this just came in a little cardboard box. So this is a little cat mirror. Let's see if she survived. No! My mirror is broken! Sad, sad day. It is cracked right down the middle. That is quite upsetting. Well, this would have been super cute if it wasn't broken. Cracked to smithereens. There's broken glass all over now. But basically, it comes with a little stand and you could shove the mirror on this little stand and it would be a cute little cat mirror. Mine is broken and disheveled. I will have to contact customer support shortly after this video. Well, that's a little upsetting, but I mean, when the bag came like this, I kind of had assumed that at least one thing probably ended up breaking. What in the Sam hell? Oh my god! Dude, I didn't know this was gonna be this big! It's a Sakura Hatsuramiku. This is so cute. I thought that she was gonna be like this big. Double the size that I thought. Smells like pool floaties. Okay, so here she is. Oh, oh my god. Her head, oh my god. Her head is so heavy, her neck is broken. Girl is all over the place. Honey, belly's all hanging out. Her tie's all sideways. Why is she wearing two ties? Why does she have two ties on? She has this tie, and then she has this blue tie on. I don't know what that is. What is that? Why is that like that? I'm probably gonna end up removing that if I can without ruining her. It's not like the highest quality plushy basset hound type vibes she is really cute though so she has her little cherries the sakuras on her ponytails but her face is super cute her head's so heavy that do you see this she looks discombobulated 
Girl, are you good? Ooh, so we have some fake freckles up in the house. I have actual freckles on my face. Technically, I don't need to put fake freckles on my face. But if I am doing a really hardcore beat, you just can't see the freckles. Figured I'd give myself some freaking freckles. I've never owned one of these before, so I don't know what to compare it to in terms of quality. But here I have a freckle pen. This is in the shade Soft Brown, which I figured would probably work for my skin tone. I just want to see what it looks like. Pastel pink looks like chicken pox all over the component and it's by Langmani Langmani I don't know next we have another mystery box now This is truthfully a mystery box because I don't remember what I ordered. We're gonna find out together There's styrofoam in here. I really hope it's not broken or I'm going to be extremely depressed What is in here what are you it's a little phone holder. Oh, it's so cute. It's this little bunny rabbit. So you stick your phone right in here where the hearts are. This is actually really good quality. The paint job's really good and it's not broken and it's actually pretty heavy. I mean, you could use this as a weapon in a time of distress. This is a box of washi tapes. Bunch of different designs that you can get. You can pick the overall theme of the washi tapes, but this is just kind of like a kawaii candy food vibe. These are actually really cute and there's a lot of them. Wow, they really just threw everything in here. Next, I have some pens. I do like that Timu has a lot of sets of things. You don't have to buy like individual pens. You can, they also sell individual pens. Also like a little kawaii, kind of like anime-esque vibe. And the lids are all pastel colors as well. So much cuter to look at than just like your standard Bic pens. So far, everything's been good, except of course for the mirror that broke, but I mean, it's possible that the mail carriers were yeeting my bag around in transit. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about that. If they were playing basketball with my parcel, like there's nothing I can do about that. Next, I see something that has been opened. The box is open. I don't like that. This is a setting spray. Why are you open? Why do you have to do me like that? Lasting Chamomile Moisturizing Makeup Spray by Novo. Haven't ever heard of this brand before. Assuming it's some type of Korean beauty brand. I thought that this was beautiful. Super pretty potion-esque type look to it. There's a little bead in there to kind of keep the product dispersed properly. I mean, overall, it looks very beautiful. I really do like it. I hope that nothing was tampered with since the box was open. It could have just been squished in transit, which everything else is kind of squished, so it's very possible. Just look at how pretty that is. That's so satisfying. Next, we have this little gadget. This is a makeup brush cleaner. It's like a little tiny washing machine for your makeup brushes. It's USB powered. You literally just plug it into an outlet, put your brush inside it, turn it on, and it washes your brush for you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Just a tiny little bowl. Looks like a piece of pottery power button right here. And then inside there's like silicone bristles. There's some rubber stoppers on the bottom to keep it in place. And then the USB cord. I'm gonna be trying this out later because I need to wash my makeup brushes. It's starting to become a problem. This is super random, but I just thought that it was really cute. Pink bear headband. Oh, it's super fuzzy too. There's a little strawberry here. And you could just put it on your head. Oh, oh my, my ring just flew. She's huge. It's Karomi! Ah, she's so cute! Again, I thought that this plushie was gonna be pretty tiny. Double the size that I thought it was gonna be. Wow, she's so cute! Oh wow, this is really good quality too. A Karomi plushie, her ear has seen better days. I think that she needs to be aired out. She's so soft and so cute and bigger than I thought. This thing's bigger than my head. This pen was supposed to look kind of like a Sailor Moon pen. One of those pens that just has a bunch of different colored ink. On the front, it says Angel. It seems a little bit hunky-dory, like a little derpy. It doesn't feel expensive. It might not work very well, but it is cute. This was a random plushie. They had different versions that you could get. It's like a little bear. It's super soft, got little toe beans, and you can hang it. Look how cute it is. You know what I just realized? Why does this thing have two sets of ears and two sets of eyes? There's some bear ears here. Then there's some dog ears here. There's also a face up here and a face here. 
what is this? Like this thing is gonna come crawling out of a polluted lake. Still quite cute, just I don't know what's going on with it. At least it's soft. What is this? This looks like a vitamin. This is the tiniest little thing I've ever seen in my life. The sponges that you can use to put your powder on, it's so tiny. No, they did not. You could buy one of these little tiny powder puffs. It does have a little strap in the back that you can put your finger in. Very soft though. Not sure how good that would work for powder, but it feels nice. All right, everybody, if you're still here and you're ready for the secret passcode to enter the giveaway, get out a pen and paper, write this down. The secret code is ramen noodle banana. Yes, very random, but it is a secret passcode. Stick around until the end so you can see the rest of the rules for entry. This thing has been obliterated. Look at the state of this. It looks like somebody sat on it. I usually don't ever have this many objects getting damaged, so I don't know what the difference is here. The packaging is just getting obliterated in transit. A little humidifier, looks like a little bean cat, and I got it in white. I wanna put some essential oils in it. Oh, it is so cute though. Rip it out of its packaging. It doesn't look like the actual product got damaged though, so that's not Nice, just the box. The product is intact. Rose gold ears, and then there's the power button in the back. So this is also USB powered. There's a little cord in the box. Only use tap water. Okay, why? Why can't I use filtered water? That's bizarre. Here it is, and you just put your water and your essential oils inside. Then this little strip lights up with a color as well. Another plushie. This is a Pusheen plushie though, and I don't think it's licensed, but it looked pretty legit, so I wanted to give it a shot. Oh, she was tetris in there. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. There's no tags on it. It's just like a tagless plushie. It does look pretty freaking legit. Look at how squished this little donut is. That donut has also seen better days. Her feet don't have any toe beans on there, so that was definitely an opportunity to miss. Pretty freaking squishy. This is a trash can. A little trash can for my desk. Look at the little toe beans. Wait, wait, why is this all dirty? What the? There's like some schmidge all over my my trash can. Hopefully that will wash off with Clorox wipes. Don't know why it looks so dirty. It was in plastic packaging, so why is it dirty? The math is not mathing. It's pretty big too. And then here's the top. Is it a deer? Would you just look at it? Would you look at it? Toss your disposables. Nom, 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 nom. Here we have another plushie. Oh, it's so cute and little. It's a little teddy bear. It also has a keychain. It's really soft. Oh my gosh, it's actually really nice plaid bow and it's got rosy cheeks. Oh, oh, that is precious. Another beauty product. <gasps> Why is it wet? Wait, wait, oh my gosh. The box is wet and gushy. Something leaked? No! It's like a seaweed gel eye mask set. The little tiny gels that you put under your eyes. I don't know if you can see, but the box is goopy. The box is soggy and it feels moist. Oh. Oh God, it smells like the back of a pharmacy. Ew, dude, that's disgusting. There you have it. It definitely leaked. Hopefully they're not dry. Uh, it's sticky in there. Ew. Mm, mm -hmm. So there you can see the component was not closed all the way. Luckily it was wrapped. Is it still good? Are you good fam? Everything's all gushy. I don't know what to do. I can't open it. I think that it's still good. That's unfortunate. Another thing that was damaged in transit. What is this? I don't even remember. It just says magic color shiner. I don't remember what I bought. What is this? Oh, okay. I think I remember now. Yeah. So this is supposed to be loose highlight powder so it's not like pressed highlight powder just loose and you can kind of just dab it all over you a dupe for the Harry Potter makeup brush sets almost positive that they're not the actual product these brushes are heavy these things are also like weapons here we have the Gryffindor brush Ravenclaw brush Hufflepuff brush the best house the Slytherin brush here is the Hogwarts brush that has all four houses and the little Hogwarts castle turrets that is adorable they're not like the highest quality brushes I really just 
just wanted them because I love Harry Potter. Look at how pretty those are. They're actually really gorgeous. A little spatula for your face. And then it's also just to clean your face with. It has little cherry blossoms on the front. Super cute, super fitting for spring. It does have two different types of heads on it. And then here is the face mask spatula. last two items in the haul will be given away to one lucky winner, an eyeshadow palette and this cute brush set, Beauty Glazed Color Fusion Over the Rainbow Eyeshadow Palette. And it is still sealed. I'm not gonna take any of the seal off because I want it to be untouched and brand new when whoever wins it receives it. So here it is. It is filled with a bunch of super cute rainbow colors. I'm gonna put some pictures up right here of the actual palette. It says it's high pigmentation and easy to blend. And then also this super cute set of purple crystal looking brushes. Bunch of brushes in here. I, I think there's 10. Yeah, 10 diamond crystal brushes. So you'll get this entire brush set. Again, I'm not gonna open it up. It's gonna be untouched and sealed when you get it. First thing you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you subscribe to my channel. Second, go over to my TikTok and follow me on TikTok because that is where I will be reaching out to the winner of the giveaway. Third, you must have that secret passcode that I dropped in the video. So first subscribe, take a screenshot after you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, follow me on TikTok, and then go ahead and send me a DM with the secret passcode and your screenshot showing that you subscribe to my channel. The giveaway will start today, the day that this is published. I will keep it open for two weeks for people to enter. On May 9th, I will announce the winner of the giveaway here on my YouTube channel in my community tab. I will notify the winner via TikTok as well through a DM, whoever wins. Good luck, everybody. My thoughts of Timu so far. I think most of the product is good. It's decent. Some stuff is a little bit low quality. That's kind of to be expected for the price, I think. Also, there were a number of things that were damaged, leaking, and just not in the greatest shape from transit. Overall, I think I will definitely shop from Timu again. I think I'll just keep my hands together and pray that none of the merchandise will be damaged when I receive it. It's definitely good. I wouldn't say that it's going to take the place of Shein or Wish. Personally, I don't even shop on Wish because I don't like it. So it definitely is already better than Wish. I will say that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enter the giveaway, good luck. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.